Hi everyone, my name is Ravi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So as you all know, I've already published around five YouTube videos on Tricentis Tosca test design concepts. So I have covered the concepts like how can we create attributes and then how can you create instances? What are all the different properties that we can define in Tricentis Tosca automation tool under test design concepts? Right. So this is our continuation session to cover more important concepts related to Tricentis Tosca test design. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You'll re receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. And please don't forget to share and like the video. Thank you. Okay, so this is our lesson six on Tricentis Tosca test design concepts. So in this lesson, I'm going to cover the topics like combination methods, like pairwise combination method, orthogonal combination method, linear expansion method, and then all combinations. So these are all the combination method that we will be using to combine the instances whatever we derived for a given attribute okay so if you would like to know more about attributes and instances i would suggest you guys to please do visit my previous videos before you watch this session and also how i can show you how do we generate these instances manually in tosca so how can you combine all these instances manually in Tosca. Okay, please stay tuned. Okay, so let me give you a brief introduction of this session. So in this lesson, you will learn how to manually combine attributes, instances, and also some of the combinatorial methods. Up until this point, I mean, my, until my previous video, I have showed you how can you create a individual attributes and instances which reflects the variation of these combinations or variation of the attributes. Basically, I have showed you how to create attributes and then how can you create instances which reflects the variations of these attributes. So I have already walked you through the task, right? And then using combination methods we begin to combine these attributes to reflect the actual data combinations needed to test the requirements so in this lesson i'm going to show you how can we use the combination methods okay and then how can you combine these attributes to reflect the actual data combinations needed to test your requirements okay and there are several methods to combine the data. So there are four combination methods supported by Tosca. So one is linear expansion method is very important method recommended by Tosca. So as I told you, there are four different combination methods available in Tosca. So basically Tosca supports all these four combination methods. What are all those? So if you see on the screen, the first one is all combinations and the second one is orthogonal combination and third one is pairwise combination and the last one which is very important and recommended by Tosca, it's a linear expansion combination method. Okay, so coming to the first combination method which is all combinations. So this is a method that all possible instance combinations are taken into consideration for testing. So that means let's assume you have two attributes and you derived instances for these two attributes. So you are going to consider all variations of these instances for testing. So this method of combination results in highest number of combinations. Okay. So if you see on the column, 
one, right? If you see on the column one, we have three attributes. And for each three, for all these three attributes in the first row, there are three instances available for each attribute. So that means the all combinations comes into a picture. So as part of all combination method, so three instances for three attributes, which is three multiplied by three and then three multiplied by three, which is 27. That means total 27 combinations will be used or will be taken into consideration to test a requirement. Okay. Hope you understand. Okay. So in the same way, if you see the second row, right in the second row, I have three attributes. For the first attribute, I have three instances. For the second attribute, I have four instances. And for third attribute, I have three instances, which means three multiplied by four, four multiplied by three, which is equivalent to 36. Total 36 combinations will be considered as part of all combinations. In the same way, in third row, I have first attribute which, you, which are having three instances and then second attribute which are having four instances and third attribute also having four instances. Then all combinations like three multiplied by four multiplied by four, which is 48 total combinations. So that's how the number of combinations results in higher numbers for all combination methods. And what is our second method? The second method is orthogonal method. So this method results in a lowest possible number of combinations. So each instance value must be used once, only once. That means if you see in the table, okay, the second column represents your orthogonal combinations and first column represents all combinations. Okay. And row, if you see the first row has three instances for each attribute. So that means what is your number of orthogonal combinations? It's a three. So each instance will be combined once. That's it. So if you see your second row, the first attribute has three instance combinations and second attribute has four instance combinations and third one is three instances. Then what is our orthogonal metal combination? It's a four because the second attribute has the highest number of instances that becomes your orthogonal combinations. And in the same way in third row, so last two attributes has a four instance combinations. That's the reason overall combinations becomes four. Okay. Hope you all understand the difference between all combination and your orthogonal combination. Okay, what is our third method combination? It's pairwise method combination. Okay, so this method combines each pair of possible value combination with two attributes. Okay, so we are not going to focus on this uh, for this session. Okay, we are not going to focus on this method for this session. You can just see like, I mean, the first row results in uh, 10 combination, second row results in 13 combinations and third row results in 17 combinations. So I'm not going to concentrate on this for this session. Okay. So what is our fourth important combination? It's a linear expansion method. So this method is recommended by Trisantis Tosca, as I explained to you earlier. Okay. And this defines straight through instances or happy path instances, which is generally used by smoke test. So I have already explained to you what is straight through and what is not straight, non straight through. Okay. So I would recommend you guys to please do visit my previous videos. Okay, so which defines straight through, which is a happy path. This is highest risk if test case fails or it is a frequently used with less dependencies. So because it is a very frequently used combination, we generally use it for smoke testing. And subsequent combinations are one straight through instance for a non straight through instance. So all non straight through instances are combined in this way to cover all. So basically are combined individually this way until all instances are 
covered or tested at least once. Okay. And this methodology provides for clear test focus in each combination. So let me explain with example. Okay. So if you see on the screen, we have total three different modules. One is billing address module, shipping address module and payment method module. So I want to create attribute and instances for these mat, uh, modules so that I can define the test case combinations for all these modules. Okay. So if you come to billing address, okay, I have a standard billing address, one uh, attribute in defined, sorry, one instance. And the other one is in-store pickup instance. And the third one is credit card uh, instance and so on. Okay. In the same way for the shipping address also, I have four different instances. In the same way, payment method also have four instances. So if you see the first column represent my standard combination, which is a straight through combination, right? That is frequently used combination. Okay. And the second one, again, if you see, I have one non straight through instance combined with two straight through instances. And the third column again, I have two straight through instances with the another non straight through instance. And fourth one in the same way, I have two different straight through combinations with a non straight through combination. So basically, this is the way you are going to combine the test data so that the best possible combinations are derived by using linear expansion method. Hope you all understand the concept. So overall, if you see the table where I have all combination, orthogonal, pairwise and linear, right? So if you see all combinations have highest number of combinations and the second orthogonal, it has a, a lowest number of combinations and pairwise is little uh, more than basically it's a between orthogonal and your all combination. And if you see the linear expansion, it has very medium level combinations and it covers a lot of critical areas, okay, which is recommended by Tosca. So if you see all combinations grows quite quickly and result in a highest number of test cases with long and complex test sheet. So it's very difficult to maintain and it might not be very important also. Okay, this could result in a very high number of test cases and longer time in execution. This may not most, this may not be most efficient testing method. Coming to orthogonal has the lowest or least number of test cases because it generates the minimum number of test cases. So this will result in a shortest possible execution time, but test failure and will result in longer time debug. And finally, linear expansion result in a moderate number of test cases. For each additional instance, an additional test case is created. Okay, so this is because each instance has one test case in which it is primarily test focused. Okay. So that's why Tosca recommends a linear expansion method in combining the instances. When can I use these different methods? So it's just depends on project and the requirements itself. So which method to use that depends upon your project and then your requirements. And what is the granularity of your requirements? And also, what is if you have any legal or regulatory specifications? That means any requirement related to legal or regulatory, then of course you might need to consider all combinations, which is very critical, right? It's all depending upon all these factors. But Tricentis recommends linear expansion method whenever possible or practical. Okay. So there are two methods for generating the instances or uh, for combining the instances. Okay. 
how do we build the instance combinations in Tosca? The first method is it might be manual or the second method is automation. So I'll cover only manual combination in this session and in later sessions I'm going to show you how can we combine the uh, instances automatically. Okay. So now let's jump onto the system and let me walk you through the actual Tosca tool in creating instances for every attribute and then how can we combine all these instances by using Tosca test design module. Okay, so now let me walk you through the example in Tosca test design module uh, to combine all the instances whatever we derived in my previous session okay if you see this structure here so this structure is uh, the one which i already explained to you guys where we created the attributes main attributes and then under these main attributes we created sub attributes under these sub attributes we already defined all the instances as shown here okay so this one i have already showed you in my previous video i would like to suggest you guys to visit that particular video before you continue with this session okay so once we define all the instances okay so in this session i'm going to walk you through the tool how can we combine all these instances by using linear expansion method okay so here let me copy this previous folder and paste it here okay and rename this as rename this as session 6 data combination manual linear expansion lower level okay so here first concentrate on i mean focus on test sheet okay and under test sheet first expand your precondition sheet okay expand precondition and then focus on customer so once you focus on customer let's define one instance at customer folder level okay right click and instance name this as registered registered address available okay and then just fit this column best fit column okay and expand this instance and toggle this instance to form as a straight through instance so i already explained you about the properties of instances in my previous sessions okay just toggle this to form a straight through instance now you just need to select type of user as register and address as available as we already defined the attributes for these folders okay and then once it is done let's define attributes in process okay under process focus on order products and then you just need to right click and define instances at order product folder level one is physical the next one is digital another instance called free shipping the next instance called free shipping boundary and then another instance called shipping costs applied boundary okay so just right click fit the columns okay so here for physical instance select the product as physical for digital instance select the product as digital for free shipping select the product as free shipping so and so on okay so basically we are defining all the instances and we are combining the instances at lower level okay and then once it is done let's move on to the next folder called under checkout payment method 
credit card information okay under credit card information let's define instances at credit credit card level okay credit card information level create one instance called visa card okay and here toggle this visa card to form standard instance now select card type as visa card number as whatever the attribute that we defined in my previous session okay select all those attributes corresponding attributes okay so once it is done that is it so now let's go to another level which is a payment method level we are just going up now okay higher level under payment method level you just need to create one instance called credit card visa right click okay now make this as a standard straight through okay and now you select this credit card information as visa card right now let's go to the next folder level called a shipping address okay under shipping address create three instances one is equals shipping address equals billing address and the next instance is in store pickup and the next one is not applicable okay and now select the instances attributes at shipping address level as equals to billing and for equal address in store pickup as false and then again in store pickup select equals to billing address and then in store as true and for not applicable select shipping address as not applicable and also in store pickup as not applicable okay which forms three different combinations so once this is done let's go to the next checkout folder level we are actually going higher levels now okay under checkout folder level define three instances standard the next instance called in store pickup another instance called no shipping okay so once it is done you just need to select the attributes at all these folder levels billing address which is default for standard okay and shipping address as equals to billing address and then i think equals to billing address we have to toggle this as okay that is done okay one minute okay that is done so once that is done select this payment method as credit card so equals to billing address should be straight through okay let me make that as straight through okay that is done because first combination should be straight through and then again second combination in store which is default shipping address should be your in store pickup and here payment method is credit card visa and again here it's a default here not applicable shipping not applicable and here credit card visa so this forms three combinations so once it is done now we have completed defining all the instances and combining all these attribute instances at lower level okay so once that is done now let's concentrate on okay let me just copy this again copy this folder and paste it here and rename this rename this as test sheet level instead of lower level test sheet level okay now let's concent let's focus on calculation shipping cost means on test sheet okay let's focus on test sheet now create five around six instances okay the first instance at test sheet level okay this time we are defining instance at test sheet level but not the attribute level okay physical 
free shipping boundary digital and then in store pickup and then free shipping okay let me just move this free shipping here okay you can rearrange the columns also okay and then another one is shipping costs shipping costs boundary okay so let me just arrange this to fit the columns okay one two three four five six okay once you define all this let's toggle this okay let me name this as physical okay so here physical is my straight through combination and then my boundary is a boundary and this one also is my boundary okay so once it is done let's start combining the attributes okay for physical i would like to so let me just concentrate on precondition and process okay these two okay under precondition for physical registered and address available and for order products select this as physical okay and then for this actually physical should be your straight through okay let me define this as straight through okay done so now for checkout let's make it as standard okay so even here standard is your straight through standard should be straight through okay this is done so now again for free sh shipping boundary select this as your customer has registered and address available select order products as free shipping boundary and select this checkout as a standard and for digital again customer is registered order products is digital and this one is no shipping and for free shipping again registered customer free shipping order products and checkout is standard and for in store pickup registered customer and then physical okay and here your in store pickup okay checkout is in store pickup for the last combination select this as customer as registered and available and shipping cost boundary which is order product shipping cost shipping cost boundary and this one is a standard checkout okay so if you see here now we have formed total six different combinations okay one is see i would like to cover a test case with registered customer physical ordering the product physically and then check out standard i want i would like to cover another test case with registered customer order a product which has a free shipping and then standard check out and then again another test case combination registered customer this time order digital product and then this time the uh, product does not have a shipping shipping cost again the fourth combination is registered customer this time i would like to order a free shipping order okay here i would like to order free sh shipping but a boundary value okay and then in store pickup registered customer physical order and then checkout should be your in store pickup so this way you can combine all the instances from lower level to the higher level at test sheet level okay so here what we did first we combined the instances at lower attributes level first and then slowly we came to a uh, test sheet level at the end and we combined all the instances in the best linear expansion method this method is recommended by tasca hope you all understand the concept if you have any queries please do send your queries in comment box okay hope you understand the concept hope you all understand the concept of combination methods 
and then how can we combine the instances in a meaningful manner by using Trisent Tosca test design module. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on bell icon. You will receive notifications whenever I publish more videos. And please don't forget to like and share the video. Thank you. Thank you.